Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Evelyn E. And it's that time again, the Change Report. Mm, mm. about this week's change report called the Force Change. Oh. You may be asking yourself, well, Evelyn, what are you referring to? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked me that question. I was hoping you would. Force Change 2020. It has been truly a year that has caused us as individuals, not only in the great country of America, but across the world, to make some very interesting, I would say interesting, decisions when it comes to education. When we think about when the pandemic started in our country, it was abrupt and people and children came to a halt. And in fact, our educational system came to a halt. What does that mean? What happened? What are you talking about? Okay, well, let, let's break it down. Let's, let's think about it. The pandemic happened. Schools had to close down for health reasons. And so kids were going from in-person learning to trying to navigate virtual learning. That was a challenge in and of itself. I know a lot about, I'm not a parent. I don't have any kids or nieces and nephews, but a lot of parents struggled. They really struggled with navigating not only their kids' education, but work, right? Juggling work. And then there's the behaviors. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's probably some parents right now that was like, oh man, my teacher, my kids teaching was right. My kids teaching was right about my child. They not paying attention. <laughs> Teachers, this has been a year where we can really truly recognize and celebrate you for all the work that you do in the classroom. I'm sure there's a lot of parents out there that are thinking twice about thanking their child's teacher. So what does that mean? What has happened, right? Because we have gone through this shift in our educational system, um, what's happened is that kids who rely so much on in-person schools had to make a shift backwards, right? Had to shift back to the home to get that learning. And that's been a challenge. As kids navigate this world of virtual learning, so are our parents. And of course, the amazing magic that our teachers do. So what does that do? How is that, how is that relevant? What does that force change mean, right? Kids who love going to school, who found their trusted adults, and in many cases, kids who, that's where they only got the meals that they ate each day, had to remain home. It was forced. Right? It wasn't their choice, but they're learning to navigate those waters. So how has that impacted the character, not only of our children, but of our viewpoint as adults when we look at education? Hopefully that has allowed us to see how valuable our teachers are. And the health. Sitting at home, I know, in quarantine, I'm an adult. And I struggle sitting at home all the time and looking at the computer. But I can do it. How has being at home and not being able to be at school with my friends or with your friends, what has that done for our health? Not only our physical health, but our mental health as well. That's something we're forced to and we're still working and learning to navigate those waters. The attitudes, right? Whew, I don't even want to spend too much time on that part, but I think it's important that we as a, as a country learn to appreciate the work of our teachers and have a better attitude when they come to us, maybe as counselors or maybe as parents, and we're talking about the holistic picture of our child, of our children and our child um, that may be attending that particular school. And then we go towards the narrative, right? What has, has virtual learning done to the educational piece, right? Here's one statistic that's gonna be really important to see how it plays out. The digital divide. Anyways, we talk about the educational divide, but you have so many kids who go to schools and they have lack of resources. 
not only in the schools, but in the communities that they live in. So how are they gonna navigate, right? We need to work on that narrative. How has visual learning impacted those kids in those communities that have the lack of resources to make sure they have the proper connection to get their education? So as always, we are navigating these waters and there's so much room for growth. So much room for growth as we explore this world of virtual learning. As we explore kids and parents have to make a decision. Do I allow my kid to stay home and help them virtually? Or do I allow them to take the risk and go back out there into the school world to get their education? I don't know. I'm so glad I'm not a parent right now. That's a tough decision. So kudos to all those parents out there that have to make that choice and that decision and ultimately our environments. That impacts our environments in so many ways. Kids being at home, not at home, parents have to be a parent and work. And be, uh, it's a lot, right? We have to really work and come together as a country as we figure this all out. But I just wanna say kudos to our kids out there as you're learning, as you're growing. You got this and you will have a great school year. Until next time, I'm your girl, Evelyn E. Peace and love.